Welcome. Today I got this. It is a socket wrench set made by Rasul here in Germany with a type number 15WU2. I found the set on eBay Kleinanzeigen. It's run by eBay and then Craigslist equivalent here in Germany. It really got my eye, so I had to have it. But let's open it up. The first thing I've noticed is the sticker here. Rasol, ein deutsches Produkt mit Gedore Garantie. It means translated Rasol, a German product with Gedore warranty. Under this thin sheet of foam are the sockets with the wrench. It is pristine looking despite its age. I think this set is from the 80s, but correct me if I'm wrong. On the bottom right is the half inch socket wrench with a small extension bar, a longer one, a sliding bar, a universal joint, which is a bit stiff, and a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 30 and 32 millimeter sockets. First thing I've noticed is this really nice matching insert out of sheet metal. No foam, no plastics, nothing that ages over time. It wobbles a bit, but nothing that distracts me. Now let's have a look at that wrench. Doesn't that sound amazing? I'm a bit in love, but sorry for the ASMR. This wrench really feels sturdy and oozes quality. This is a closer look and yes, it has seems unused. There are some minor blemishes, but the imprints look really sharp and crisp. That's what you expect when you get a German made wrench. And I like the little touch of the Rasol imprint on the handle. Let's move on with the extension bars. The smaller one with the type number 1519-5 out of chrome vanadium like all of the tools mentioned hasn't seen much use. There are only some scratches on the inside. Same goes for the longer version 1590-10. I think the last number stands for their length of 5 and 10 inches. I really like the matte chrome coating that gives you more grip in oily environments than polished tools. I know, in the US this is different, but here in Germany only cheap Chinese knockoff brands get a shiny coating on their tools. I don't think I need to show the sliding bar, it just looks like new and never used. It is really pristine, the whole set. And the universal joint hasn't seen any use either, I've already mentioned that it feels a bit stiff. I don't think it comes from old grease, but more from the fact that it needs to be worn in a little bit, because all the joints are really nicely made with just little play. All these sockets up here look like new, but let's have a closer look. The chrome coating has no damages. The machining looks excellent. I can find a spot that doesn't look good, even in this close-up. I like the stamped and writing on them. They surely will never wear to the point where you can't read it. Only some small sockets have been used and show some marks of mild wear, like the 17mm socket, the 13mm and the 10mm one. And these scratches on the inside should not worry you, it is just what normal wear on sockets look like. Now let me dig deep into this case. I just want to make sure there is no rust on the inside so it won't corrode the tools. The insert is removable and this punched sheet of metal was painted in the same color as the rest of the case. It is as nicely machined as the rest with nicely rounded edges and no bird to find, so you won't cut yourself. Let me clean the inside a bit. For that I like to use some WD-40 and a paper towel. That and removing labels is mostly what I do with it. 
for all the other claimed uses it has, there are better products out there. Oh, that is gross. After cleaning it, I degrease the case with a regular window cleaner and to avoid any corrosion I use a bit ballistol on it. I like the smell and it works very well. Shout out to German Tour Reviews who does that also all the time. After cleaning the case, of course, I also cleaned and conserved the rest of the tooth just by using ballistol. The inside of the sockets gets swiped with a Q-tip and the rest gets a swipe with a paper towel and I think I should stop here. Watching someone cleaning his tools surely gets boring. And I think that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!